out to me sometimes. <laughs> But anyway, I am going to show you how to get my green eyeshadow look for maybe Coachella this weekend, next weekend, or just a fun party that you're going to. I always start with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Palette on my eyelid. And this helps the eyeshadow adhere to your lid. So I just kinda pat it all over. And I go all the way up to my eyebrow line. And then I have Bare Minerals Velvet Vanilla. And I just kind of get a little bit, press it into the top. And just in the top brow area. I do love some shimmer. So Champagne Quartz, Bobbi Brown, the number one eyeshadow that you should own in your life. So I just put kind of a little bit in the crease and I'll probably come back with some of this too. And for the base, I have Bobbi Brown Khaki. I don't know if they still sell it, but there's always different colors coming out. I also, I'm gonna use the Surf and Sand palette, Bobbi Brown, and this crazy green color. So I take a little bit of that, and I just press it along my eyelashes. Then I'll come back with the khaki. And clearly, the khaki is just more defined. So, I just like to put it up into the crease. I kind of go back and forth with this seafoam green shimmer and the khaki. You get the idea. Mm, looking real green, girl. <laughs> One of my best friends is a makeup artist and I just sounded like her. <laughs> For the liner, I like to use Bobbi Brown Ivy. I have used this liner since eighth grade. And I think that I have only purchased four in my lifetime. That is a great deal. Okay, so I just kind of wet the brush. See this dark green? Sometimes I have to wet it a few times, you know. Okay, now it's looking good. I got my liner going. I always put foundation on towards the end because do we see all this situation that fell here? And so I use baby washcloths to wash my face and to take excess makeup off. So I'll just go through, make sure nothing's on there. Okay, super important at this stage is sunscreen. Especially at music festivals, I love to use this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Sunscreen, SPF 30. So I, you see, I even try to get it in my hair. <laughs> Cause the hairline, depending on how big your forehead is. <laughs> Super important. I sometimes even just get the spray sunscreen and I'll spray my hair. I know, it's just like, protect that skin. Okay, so. Foundation I use is just 
Dream Satin Liquid Maybelline. Love it, actually. I think it's probably my favorite one I've ever used. So I don't use concealer. I just slap it on <laughs> everywhere. So yeah. Dun -dun -dun. For powder, I use CoverGirl Translucent. Super, super light. I just pat it on. And it just sets the foundation. Okay, now do I have to sing everything? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is not that long. Quick. You wanna get in and out and see what's happening in life. Well, that's cute. Powder all over me. At this point, I like to get my brow game strong. Bobbi Brown Cocoa, once again, dip in some water. And we're just gonna fill in these thick brows. Got that arch from my grandmother. see hers. Oh, they're amazing. I mean, ugh. okay. All right, love a little bronzer. Bronzer is kind of standard. I'm pretty sure any brand will do just right. Okay, well, your girl put a little bit on there. <laughs> Rub that in. And the blush I'm using Where's my blush brush? Blush I'm using today, Bobbi Brown Pale Pink. Love this color. It's just so pink. Okay, so get a little on my blush brush. Do a little smile. My shimmer brick is about to die. <laughs> Literally. But I'm still using the ruminants. And using it as some highlights. My number one trick for curling my eyelashes, no joke. Literally is going to make my eyelashes dynamite. Sometimes I heat up the eyelash curler two or three times. Lastly, I just put a little bit of chapstick on my lips because especially out there in the desert lips get chapped and then I'm using daringly nude lip color it's matte by Maybelline and it is just super light there you have it thanks so much for watching like and subscribe and comment to let me know what you think